what up guys welcome back to the channel this your boy jay reed so check it out here's what we're doing today as you know we got the turbo civic running it's running better i won't say it's running good but it's running better than what it normally has been but there's something i feel like i need to do to test out just to be on the safe side as you know i'm making like 20 pounds of boost right because i put the uh the firing ring in the uh wastegate but i don't know if it's if i'm over boosting or not if the wastegate gate is not working now because i have this boost controller on there so what i really want to do is disconnect this boost controller and run the vacuum line directly to the wastegate and run off spring and see how much boost i make and that's going to tell me if this wastegate is over boosting or not because it definitely shouldn't be making 20 pounds of boost on the wastegate so <clears throat> i think i'm going to do that Suppose it rain today, as you can see. So I don't know how long I have, but this shouldn't take long. I'm just gonna warm it up, change that out. I got my laptop ready to go. Pull out the garage and go do a third gear hit real quick. Should be real simple. What I'm gonna do now is do what I just said. That didn't really take but a second to do. But visually, in case someone wasn't understanding what I was talking about, that's all that I did. Ran the vacuum line straight to the wastegate to the turbo you know and that's typically how it's supposed to be anyway if you do not have a if you do not have a boost controller another thing that i want to check out too while i'm at it is is this misting what i normally never do is pay attention to my fuel pressure gauge i need to look at that to make sure i have enough fuel pressure because all of a sudden it's just started misting i don't know if i didn't lift it ahead or did something or fuel injector messed up or distributor going out but i really need to figure out what that miss what the misfire is for sure because i'm not sure what it is because nothing has changed nothing has changed but yeah so hopefully when i go out here i can get a lot taken care of that i need to do so let me get in the car get my other keys and let's do it warm it up all right so we got it running i'm gonna start the data log hopefully it won't freeze up likes to freeze up fuel on let's go If I can show you guys real quick what I'm talking about uh I don't know if you can see it but look how green all of that is scroll down 11 11 no 11 2 11 2 11 11 11 11 11 11 as far as is as far as as low as it's reading so that's too much fuel you think green is good but it's not good all the time so we did 10 pounds of boost. So I can con say I can confirm that the wastegate is working because I'm making 10 pounds on wastegate. So we're gonna put it back like it was and uh and make 20 and yeah. And we're gonna take some of this fuel out down low, quite a bit to be exact, and see if we can clean up that table a little bit. Okay, so I took out about 10% fuel in that spot where I needed to. And we're gonna make another pass. I also hooked the uh, boost controller back up because we're gonna keep it at 20. I just wanted to make sure that it was working, but I also turned it down a click. So we had the lowest setting on the boost controller. And I'm curious to see if that's gonna make any difference. Cause I want it in third gear, I want it to peak out at 20. I don't want to hit boost cut at 20. 
And that's kind of what it what it did that last time. But we want, my neighbor's probably like, ooh. That's not good. So we back at the house. I mean, it looks a little better, but I still need to take some fuel out in some spots for sure. In fact, I'm going to do that now. That was 20 pounds of boost, and I had to get out of it. Oh, that was so. So I ran it with with 10 pounds on that first run, and then I ran it with 20. And when I tell you, it's a difference. It's a freaking difference for sure. It's a huge difference. I mean, you saw how the first time I didn't even spin, but the second time, I actually was I actually spun. Temperature was 200, so that's good. Mm. All right, let me say this that long. So that was that was a fun little escapade. Not gonna lie, may have to. Damn, did not get in here all the way. That was a fun little escapade. Everything survived. Still got an oil leak. I'm positive it's from that head. That's like the only thing I need to do now to get it perfect is to pull that head and reseal, put a new gasket and reseal it because I did a shit job when I put the pistons in. Put some copper, I need to put some copper spray on it. Yeah, I did a boo boo job when I did it before, and there's the results. This your boy. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.